Peppa Pig, the official annual 2022. The Tall Tree. Peppa and her family are visiting Madame Gazelle at her home. Hello, everyone, says Madame Gazelle, opening her creaky door. Come in. Hello, Madame Gazelle, says Peppa. As they step into the house, Peppa and George find themselves sliding down Madame Gazelle's hallway. Whee! cries Peppa. Your hallway is a big slide. <laughs> hmm. Is it meant to be like that? asks Daddy Pig. <coughs> no, says Madame Gazelle. The house is just old. <coughs> In the living room, lots of things are leaning to one side. Everything here is a little bit wonky, Peppa gasped. Madam Gazelle, I think your house might need fixing, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> he peers out the window and spots a tree pushing against the wall. Madam Gazelle takes him outside. It's my little Christmas tree from a long time ago, she explains. I didn't want to throw it away, so I planted it in the garden. Oh. Your little tree has grown so much it's pushing your house over, <coughs> says Daddy Pig. I'll call Mr. Bull to see if he can help. <coughs> That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle, says Mr. Bull when he arrives. Strong roots? <coughs> yes, says Daddy Pig, but it's pushing the house over. Mr. Bull stands back to take a look. Oh yes, he says. Let's chop it down! <laughs> Before Mr. Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. He gets a rope and a harness and uses them to climb the tree. Wow! Look at that, says Mr. Bull. Little birds are nesting in your tree, Madame Gazelle. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle go and see the birds from the window. <laughs> Mr. Bull climbs higher up the tree. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle climb up higher in the house. Look what's here, says Mr. Bull. Busy bees, cries Peppa. <laughs> Let's see what else there is, says Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull climbs higher up the tree. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle climb the stairs to the third floor window. I say, look at this, whispers Mr. Bull. It's an owl, Peppa gasps. Whoo, says the owl. Onward and upward, says Mr. Bull, continuing to climb. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle reach the highest window in the house. Oh! Bats, says Mr. Bull, spotting some hanging upside down and fast asleep. Wow! Ah, my friends the bats, says Madame Gazelle. They remind me of the old country. <laughs> Mr. Bull reaches up. But what's this? he asks, pulling down a piece of tinsel with a bobble on the end. Ah, my Christmas decorations, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> Mr. Bull pulls himself right to the very top of the tall tree and finds a Christmas fairy, he cries. Everyone agrees that since Madame Gazelle's tree is a wonderful home to so many little animals, it should not be chopped down. Maybe to stop your house falling over, we could put it in the tree, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mr. Bull uses his crane to lift up Madame Gazelle's house and puts it in the middle of the tree. Wow! I've always wanted a tree house, says Madame Gazelle. Thank you, everyone. All the animals love living in the tall tree. Madame Gazelle loves living in the tall tree. Peppa Pig, read it yourself with Ladybird. Sports Day. <laughs>
<laughs> it is sports day at school. Wow. Peppa George and everyone are there. First, it is a running race. Ready, steady, go, says Madame Gazelle. They all run as fast as they can. Peppa is not ready. She comes last and she is not at all happy. Rebecca Rabbit wins a running race. Hooray, everyone says. Next is the long jump. Ready, steady, go, says Madame Gazelle again. George jumps as far as he can, but he comes last. George is not happy at all. Richard Rabbit wins the long jump. Hooray! Everyone says. Next, it is the relay race. Ready, steady, go! Says Madame Gazelle again. Daddy Pig runs as fast as he can. Here, Peppa, says Daddy Pig. Run as fast as you can. But Peppa is not ready. Emily Elephant wins the relay race. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone says. <laughs> Peppa comes last again. And she is not happy at all. <sighs> Next, it is the tug of war. Wow! Ready, steady, go! says Madame Gazelle. Everyone tugs as hard as they can. Snap! The rope breaks. Oh. Now everyone wins, says Madame Gazelle. Hooray! Hooray, says Peppa. I win at last. I like sports day. Hooray! The end. Peppa is kind. <laughs> this is Peppa Pig. Peppa is kind. <coughs> Kindness means you are nice to others. There are lots of ways to be kind. <coughs> Peppa shows George just how kind she is. She lets him pick which show to watch on TV. <coughs> George is kind to Peppa too. Bang, bang, bing. They make music together. <laughs> Peppa is kind to Daddy Pig. She laughs at his silly jokes. That makes Daddy Pig feel great. <laughs> Peppa is kind to Mummy Pig. They fly a kite together. Wow. Peppa is kind to Granny and Grandpa Pig. She waters flowers with them. <laughs> Peppa is kind to her friends. She invites Susie to a tea party. <coughs> Susie is kind too. Thank you, Peppa, she says. <coughs> Saying thank you is kind. Peppa and her friends visit Pedro at the hospital. Oh. Visiting a friend when they're not feeling well is one of the kindest things you can do. Yeah. What else is kind? Sharing a swing with a friend. Oh. Peppa and Rebecca swing together at the park. Yeah. 
Peppa helps wash the family car. <coughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig think that's very kind. Peppa is kind to her neighbours. Peppa and Zoe give them juice on a hot summer day. <coughs> Peppa is kind to animals. Peppa and George give duck feed to the ducks in the pond. <coughs> Peppa makes hot chocolate on a cold day. She shares it with Susie and George and even adds marshmallows on top. Wow. And being kind means doing things together, like playing games. <laughs> there are lots of ways to be kind. Peppa is kind to herself too. She tries out new hobbies, like roller skating. <laughs> she also learns how to jump rope. Peppa makes sure that she gets proper exercise to be healthy. And she gets plenty of rest. Peppa loves kindness. Everyone loves being kind. The end. Peppa Pig Numbers Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Today we will be learning all about numbers, says Madame Gazelle. Does anybody know what numbers are used for? We use numbers to count, says Peppa. That's very good, Peppa says Madame Gazelle. Numbers are used for counting. Now, who would like to try some counting? Pedro Pony counts to four. Rebecca Rabbit counts all the way to seven. Excellent! Pedro and Rebecca. After seven comes eight, nine and ten says Madame Gazelle. Wow! It is playtime. Rebecca, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Peppa all like to skip. I like sand, I like sea, I like Susie to skip with me, sings Peppa. <laughs> I like pink, I like pong, I like Zoe to skip along, sings Susie. Let's see who can skip the longest without stopping, says Zoe. I'll count, says Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five. Peppa is out. Six, seven, eight. Susie is out. Nine, ten. Zoe is the winner. Pedro is hula hooping. I can do a million and three hula hoops without stopping, says Pedro. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has stopped hula hooping. I'm a bit tired says Pedro. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> Emily Elephant has a special way of hula hooping. She hula hoops with her trunk. Oh. The hoop spins round and round and round. <laughs> it is too fast to count. I think that was about a hundred, <laughs> says Susie. George wants to play leapfrog. Leapfrog, everybody! cries Peppa. Richard Rabbit, Edmund Elephant, Susie Rebecca, Peppa Emily, Candy Cat, Danny Dog, Zoe and Pedro line up. There are 
ten children for George to jump over. George begins to jump and everyone counts along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. George has jumped over everyone. George is very good at playing leapfrog. <laughs> now playtime is over and the children must return to the classroom. <coughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Peppa and George. He is very early, but Madame Gazelle doesn't mind. Don't worry, you can join in our game, she says. Richard and Edmund, please get the extra long skipping rope. Is everybody ready? Let's count to ten, says Madame Gazelle. One. Daddy Pig is skipping. Two. Now Peppa is skipping too. Three. Susie joins them. Madame Gazelle plays her guitar as the children join in one by one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count Daddy Pig and the children. <laughs> it is much easier to count to ten if you are playing a game at the same time. The end. Peppa's Windy Fall Day It is a windy fall day. Peppa and her family are going to the park. Let's put on our warm clothes, says Mummy Pig. When it's cold outside, Peppa and her family wear their hats, scarves and coats. In the car, Daddy Pig turns on the heater. Is everyone nice and warm? Daddy asks. Yes, Daddy Pig. Off they go. Soon Peppa and her family are in the park. Why are all the leaves red and yellow? Peppa asks. In the fall, it gets colder and the leaves change colour, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig has a ball. Let's play a game to keep warm. He kicks the ball to Peppa. My turn, cries Peppa. Peppa kicks the ball to George. <laughs> now it is George's turn, but the wind blows the ball away. It's not supposed to go that way, cries Peppa. Peppa and George chase the ball. Uh-oh! The ball has rolled all the way into the pond. Bonk! Bonk! Don't worry, says Daddy Pig. I'll use this stick to get the ball. Daddy reaches out as far as he can. Just a little bit farther, Daddy, says Peppa. Please be careful, Daddy Pig, says Mummy. Daddy Pig reaches out too far. He falls into the pond. Sploosh! Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> Luckily, the wind begins to blow again. The wind blows the ball out of the pond. It's getting windier, says Mummy Pig. Hold on to your hats, Peppa and George. Peppa holds on to her hat. But George does not hold on to his. Whoosh! Away goes George's hat. The wind blows George's hat up into a tree. How will we get George's hat down? asked Peppa. Simple, says Mummy Pig. I'll give the tree 
a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh dear, Mammy Pig shakes a tree a bit too much. Plop. All of her leaves fall on top of her. <laughs> Where did George's hat go? Mammy Pig asks. It's on your head, Peppa laughs. <laughs> the wind blows and blows. Look, Daddy, I'm leaning into the wind, cries Peppa. The wind is strong enough to hold up Peppa and George. It is even strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> After a while, the wind stopped. What can we do now? Peppa asked. Hmm, what's your favourite game? asked Daddy Pig. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles, says Peppa. But there aren't any, only boring dry leaves. And what do we do with dry leaves? asked Daddy Pig. I don't know, says Peppa. <laughs> Jump up and down in them, says Daddy Pig. Everyone loves jumping up and down in dry leaves. This has been the best fall day ever, says Peppa. <laughs> the end. George's Racing Car Peppa George, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are watching racing cars on television. It's such a lovely day, you should go outside and play, Granny Pig says. What shall we do? asked Daddy Pig. <laughs> says George. George wants to play racing cars, sighs Peppa. Let's build him one, says Grandpa Pig. He finds an old pram in his shed. Clever Grandpa Pig turns the pram into a pedal car. Wow! What's your favourite number, George? asks Daddy Pig. George replies. Daddy Pig paints a big two on the car's bonnet. Along come Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Look at George's racing car, says Peppa. We'll race you three times around the garden, George, they cry. Oh! Go! Peppa shouts, waving a checkered flag. At the end of lap two, George is in the lead until one of his wheels comes off. I'm the chief mechanic, cries Peppa. I can fix it. George gets back in the race, but now he's last. Oh no! Granny Pig comes outside to see what the noise is all about. Come on, George, she shouts. Meow, he says, peddling as fast as he can. <laughs> go, George, go, snort Peppa, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> George finally takes the lead and zooms across the finishing line. George is the winner, declares Grandpa Pig. <laughs> well done, George, says Peppa. <laughs> You're the best racing driver in the whole world. <laughs> George agrees. And you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world too, adds Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, that's me, says Peppa, pointing to herself proudly. <laughs> Everyone laughs. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more! <laughs>